I think I was actually in the ground. Welcome back, folks, to more scum under insanity. Uh, we're up here on the hill, and I finished off that mushroom I found at the end of the first episode, and then I was looking around in the woods back around behind me here, and I found some ramsons, and a, I found, well, I found one. I found a big patch and searched the whole thing and found one. So I ate that, and also found some more little mushrooms, so I ate that, but we are, we are super hungry. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to circle around. There's a cornfield over there behind this village. So I'm going to circle around behind and see if we can't find some corn. And I think the plan then is to head off to the northeast. And we'll see how we do. Hopefully a hunt will uh, spool up here at some point. Maybe we can get an animal. Got at least one puppet over there by the cornfield, so that's why I'm swinging wide. I'm hungry, yes. Imagine you are. Gotta get some food in this belly. A few of them over there. Might be a little tricky. Under, get up on top. Can I reach that? I can. Oh yeah, we got lots of puppets. Oh boy, I don't know if that cornfield is going to be doable or not. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got at least eleven here. <laughs> just in view so yeah he's he's looking towards the cornfield don't uh, I don't know that that's worth it right over his head went right at his feet a little trouble judging it Tango down. There's a lot of arrows. So let's hop down off of here. Yeah, the guy that was looking this way has turned around. Let's go sneaky sneaky. Get my arrows back, and maybe check some of this corn. So that was the barn. I thought I saw another puppet up there. My bug out plan is to run back for that little building. I'm missing two arrows. Oh, that was one up there turned back around. It's not good. Just want some food. The search makes noise. Got him, but there's still a lot of them around. I don't think they're looking this direction, though. It's tough finding corn on regular loot settings. I don't know what we're going to find at 0.1% chance. 
So normal loot is one. I've got it set on the minimum, which is 0.1. One little bite of corn would be great. Come on, game. Got to find like just the right pixel to search the stupid corn stock. You can hear them all around me. Come on, search. Too close. Can't search that. This is not good, but I'm really hungry. <laughs> Come on, corn. It's one corn. No, nope, I don't think it's going to happen. already searched and then didn't get that one they're just I can hear them I can hear them breathing hope they can't hear me searching that we didn't find any corn that's too bad all right let's get out of here I haven't heard any alert sound. I'm just going to leave those arrows over there. Up here for safety. I think we made it out of there. But he spotted us. All right. Well, we're super hungry, but uh, yeah, that's just uh, bad luck there. Didn't find any corn worth a shot uh so i think i'm gonna head off to the northeast and what i'm hoping to find is some more farm fields uh maybe out in the open you know not close to uh, town maybe we could search them i believe there's some along through here so let's head off to the northeast and we'll see what happens i'll bring you in when I come across something, came across a puppet up here in the wild, so I was refilling my quiver. There's one, there's probably more. Yeah, they went right in that bush somewhere. Their head? Yeah, they're there. Oh, wow. That was a lucky shot. Spear out in case there's more up here. These uh, makeshift arrows with no feathers, they don't fly very far. And of course, I only got the 20 pound bow. But it got the job done. First one was a little short. Go and just a beanie, huh? Press the hill here carefully because usually there's a lot of there's a whole line of them and it spawns them in the wild. What is that? Is that an animal? Just a stump or something. That just be a stump or rock. Check it out. a birch tree or does that happen to be some kind of fruit no i think it's a puppet i was just seeing the top of him over a slight hill yeah 
Yeah, I might have been seeing that puppet. Or it could have been a rock, because there's another rock over there. Swap back to the bow. Take a look around. We gotta be super we were getting super hungry too. It was a strong one. Yeah, I was seeing a rock. There's a rock over there. That looked like it might have been a boar, something like that. Uh, it might be worth taking that. We, we'll see. If we get too hot, I can ditch it. But, uh, if we get up into a little chillier climate, we could maybe use some protection. A bunch of puppets through here. Careful. I thought they were fields. Maybe I'm thinking of over here. So yeah, let's keep heading kind of east-ish. I know it's slow going, but, uh, I mean, these puppets, the bigger ones, can literally help kill me in one hit. So I do have to be cautious. One off to the right. I'm not sure where they went. He's off. He's off a little ways. Oh, we got a chicken down there. Grab our arrows. See if we can find that chicken. I have another arrow. There it is. All right, so I might have to kill this other uh, puppet down here. Sounds like there might be a clue over this direction somewhere. If he's going to spot me. Definitely a clue down here. I hear you, chicken. I'm trying to get this stupid puppet. <laughs> Waste all my arrows. Yep. Waste all my arrows. He's injured, though. I hear you, chicken. Oh, boy. Can't afford to miss. I'm coming, chicken. I'm coming. Yeah, here's our first clue. Like he was heading to the left. Went south. Yeah, went this direction.
If you find that chicken, that would be a huge win. Go. Second clue. Must be droppings because I don't see, see any tracks. Uh, went west, so north of this direction. Really hope there's not a uh, puppet over here in the woods. Okay, where are you at, chicken? Need another clue. Another clue. Oh, here we go. Went this this way. Uh, I don't remember if that's edible or not. Better not chance it. Okay, talk to me, chicken. Thank you. Destruction. Okay, you're a puppet. Yeah, definitely hear a puppet over there. There it is. Oh, he saw me. Not good. Oh, he's a big one. I know, chicken. I know. Let's see if we can find this clue. Good, here we go. Went that direction. So that should be the last clue. So we should have an actual chicken now. Here another puppet. See the puppet. Where are you? Here's the chicken. You had chicken. I like it was over here. The sounds messed up. Uh, 
Oh, sounds like it's back down there. Where are you at, chicken? This is crazy. Walking through the woods trying to find a chicken. <laughs> this is peak scum content right here. Southeast. That way. Okay. Towards the puppet. Got it. I thought that was the last clue, but maybe that wasn't the last clue. I lost count. Get over her head. Hey, chicken, I'm coming for you. Yeah, I know I'm starving. I'm trying to do something about that. Sounded close, but I know it can be deceptive. It's a mushroom I can eat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, parasol mushroom. Yeah, I don't even get re repulsion from that. Nice. Where you at, chicken? Oh, it's like that didn't kill it. <laughs> it did. All right. Excellent. Got a little bit of bone or a stone knife left. This thing cleaned up and get some food in our belly. Can't carry the plucked chicken, can I? Nope. All right. Round, take you in our hands. You're a puppet. Get out of here. Let's go make a fire and cook some chicken. That took a while. 
got to get that awareness raised up. You got to get right on top of the clue before you can see it. Let's run that here. Here where I can kind of see around. And let's get a fire built. A stone knife. Is that another building? Let's get it improvised. And just keep an eye out for puppets. I don't I don't know if I can cook the legs. I think you have to have a grill, maybe. We should be able to make some skewers, just regular meat skewers. Some tender made, and then we'll get the sticks put in there. The fire starter. Hopefully all before we starve to death. I can't hold that for some reason. Fill with tender. Yes, please. Chop this up, and then we can add the sticks. It's a process. All right, two more sticks. Coming up. Just leave our chicken sitting there in the dirt. It'll be fine. We can make uh, five decent arrows now. Be able to carry less, but. I don't know if it's worth making those or not. Okay, we got that. We got stick. Now we got two. We can make the fire drill. Just want to craft from the menu like that. Sometimes you have to have the tool in your hand. Just be aware of that before you get the option to come up. All right. So now we got the fire drill. Now we just need to chop the chicken. A little dark. Clouds moving through. Beautiful. Alright, taking hands. Light fire. Feeling slightly warm, so I can take this jacket off now. Cook food. Heat skewer. Don't have any veggies, or we could try to make a mixed skewer. Here we go. And then I did not realize you can hold F. You can set an alarm. Cool is that? So it'll ding at you one minute before it's done. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know if we can cook these legs. I think if you have the barbecue grill. Can cook those on that. Uh, we did get some bones. So I could craft a bone needle, I guess. We'll throw that in our shirt. Put right in there. We carry the fire starter with us. Feeling slightly warm, yep. Uh, we could go ahead and craft up some arrows. Five of those made. Uh, 
Um, I thought I could craft. Oh, I rent my knife. Ran out. That's why. It's like I thought I could craft from. You can, but you have to have a knife. Take a long time to get those, so. Crafting. There we go. I know you're hot because you're standing next to the fire. There we go. Now we have five arrows. Yeah, I think the whole heat and cold thing, I think, is just a little overdone. They could use some tweaking. Fuel with small wooden log. Uh, I'm guessing this fat's not going to be great for us. Let's get a little bit of that in our belly. Oh, I just... Mrs. Kerbo was yelling down the stairs, and now I got sick. <laughs> I got distracted. Ugh, darn it. So, we didn't really get any of that. Absorb, unfortunately. All right. Oh, we got one more, uh, one more piece. Let's try that again with less uh, wife aggro. So you want to cancel that before your food repulsion gets all the way up. So let's do cancel. So you waste a little bit of it. Uh, but you don't, you don't barf. It stays in your stomach. So you absorb calories from it, which is kind of what I'm hoping to do. Now we lay down and we wait for a chicken to cook. See you in a bit. All right, we should get a ding any second now. Or not. Yeah, I set the timer. I don't know why it didn't go off. All right, cool. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was double checking that because that didn't work apparently. Um, where is my food? Oh, grab. It's on there because I didn't grab it. I'm starving, he says. Well, eat some of this chicken. That should go down smooth. It's like I can eat this whole thing. I didn't want to overfill. And are we getting water? We actually get a little bit of water from that. Nothing from the fat. But we do get some water from the meat skewer. Apparently it's a soggy meat skewer. All right, eat all that too. We need we need all the things. And we got another puppet. Puppet? No, we got another puppet. Actually, two puppets up there have spawned in. Watch out, we'll be surrounded. All right, there we go. We got a full belly. Now that food repulsion is sticking with us. I guess because we're digesting the fat, maybe? It's interesting. I didn't know it would do that. Usually the food repulsion goes away pretty quick. So I'll have to keep an eye on that if we're eating any mushrooms or anything. Uh, Alright. Let's grab our knife. Uh, put out. You used to have to have water to put these out, but maybe you don't anymore. I wonder, maybe I should take the chicken legs with me. Where's my other chicken leg? I have another chicken leg? You see it, it's right there on the ground. Yeah, all right, let's take our drumsticks with us. Uh, we can always make another stone. So that way is north. I wanted to head east-ish. 
So I think I'll leave those two puppets alone at this direction. I don't know if there's anywhere I can hold up. I'd kind of like to get up somewhere safe and just let these calories soak in for a bit. I don't see any more fields over here. I might have to go through the woods. Get over here around this river. I have a water source, and there might possibly be fields over that direction. Up it back there, so I was looking for others. Are these guys? Death cap. Yeah, I think we'll leave those alone. Slow down a little bit. Sometimes in these green areas, there'll be ram ram uh, ramsons. Kind of, I don't know if they're like a wild spinach or they're a green leafy plant you can eat. Bunch of mushrooms there, but I think we'll leave those alone. They're bright red. That's usually a bad sign. And there are occasionally wild strawberries out in the forest, but they're really hard to spot because they look just like these. Uh, but they'll have berries on them, so they they blend in really well. more east. Should probably just travel with my spear out. Uh, yeah, we're heading to, kind of into the thick of the woods. Should be coming up to a road for too long. So, to the south, yeah, I see that little village there. You've seen little spots of sunlight. I'm thinking they're mushrooms. Alright, north, and we need to go east-ish. But I haven't seen any puppets around here, so I might just kind of chill. Chill here for a bit. Oh, of course, there's a puppet as soon as I say that. Climb up on this. <laughs> nice. Can he get me up here? I bet he could. It's not super tall. See some tall rocks over here. That'd be a haven or not. I think I will bring this episode to a close. And like I said, rest up, get some of these calories soaking in. So we have a little bit of reserve. So just burning immediately what we got. In fact, we can slow down a little bit. So there we go. Another exciting episode of Utter Insanity. Utter Insanity is kind of slow paced sometimes. It's what it takes to survive. One little mistake is all it takes. Or a bug. If you're still here at this part of the video, I'll, I'll tell you a little secret. I actually recorded this episode once. And uh, I was walking along, and there was a puppet on the other side of a bush. And I pushed two to bring out my bow. It didn't come out. Pushed two to bring out my bow again. It didn't come out. And I was fumbling around with that stupid crap. And the puppet hit me twice, and I died. 
<laughs> so I'm like, nope. We're, uh, we're not having this series end on a stupid bug. So yeah. Scum is great. I like Scum, but it does have some issues now and then. Especially with controls. I don't know if it's because you're stuck in like an animation or something. There's a whole other puppet over there. I want to get my arrow back. I don't know what it is, but sometimes you push keys and stuff doesn't happen. So, I figure if you're here in this part of the video, you're invested in the series and you deserve to know. I did have a little bit of a false start on episode two. Yeah. Got my arrow back. I'm going to hide over here in these rocks and rest up a bit. And we will continue the journey in episode three. Thanks as always for watching, folks. I'll catch you next time.